Hello everyone! So today I have a video that I am really really excited to share with you guys. So today I am doing some anime inspired daily hairstyles with series from the 90s and also early 2000s. So series that are like super nostalgic and really close to our hearts because they were just part of our childhoods. So I opened up questions on my Instagram story and it is thanks to your input that I was able to put this together. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this video. So our first hairstyle that we're going to tackle is of course the queen herself Miwako from Paradise Kiss. These are just basic ass high braided pigtails but I came up with something really really cool to put a fun spin on this. So I'm just splitting my hair in the center down the back and I'm taking a top portion of my hair on each side and I'm pinning that away temporarily and then I'm taking a little tiny bit of hair to form a tiny pigtail. And you want this to be placed pretty high up on the top of your head but you want to find a piece of hair that is really going to be covered by all the hair surrounding it. And I'm I'm taking some colored extensions because Miyoko has such long braids for this hairstyle, even longer than my hair is currently, so I needed to put in some extensions and I thought that I would dress it up with some really fun cute colors. And I am just going to clip this on top of the little pigtail and then I'm taking the second one and flipping it upside down, I am clipping this onto the bottom of the pigtail. So you sort of get like an extension sandwich. So just taking the rest of my hair and gathering it all into one high pigtail, I'm securing it tightly with two elastics and then I'm going to repeat this process on the other side. Then of course I'm just braiding my pigtails with a regular three strand braid until I reach the end and then I'm securing it off with an elastic. And near the bottom when my real hair ran out and it was just the colored extension, um, it actually blended in really seamlessly so you couldn't really tell that it was an extension. Then I'm referencing one of Miwako's most iconic hairstyles and to complete this hairstyle I am just tying some fluffy white hair ties at the base of my braids. And that is it for this hairstyle. There is definitely a technique to adding in extensions so that you can have a high pigtail and it's really really fun you can definitely change it up with so many different colors and different looks and all together it's just a very very fun wearable hairstyle okay so next another one of the most requested series for me to cover was card captor sakura and I am doing tomoyo so I'm keeping in exactly how I placed my extensions previously surrounding that little pigtail separating a large chunk of hair in the front I I am tying the rest of my hair into a mid-height pigtail. And it's totally okay if your pigtail is a little bit messy looking or even if your wefts are sticking out from your extensions like mine are because the way that we lay the braid over it later is going to cover everything. So I just let it be messy because no one's gonna see it anyway. So again, I'm just braiding with a regular three-strand braid until I reach the bottom. Then I'm tying it off with an elastic and then I'm coiling this braid against itself so that it lays in a bun. And then I'm surrounding all four directions of this bun with some crossed bobby pins for a super secure hold. Then from the front with this super sweet kind of shitty transition, I just quickly did some loose curls for my front pieces to finish this replicated hairstyle and that is it for this look. I really love how this turned out. I know that I've done many double braided buns in the past but again there's just something different about this one because you have the added color and also Tomoyo tends to wear a lot of her hair in the front curled away from her face and I feel like that's such a romantic touch to add to any hairstyle. So next I'm doing a second hairstyle from Card Capture. It's Tomoyo's braided crown with yellow ribbons. So I already have my braided front pieces and I'm just leaving those there and for the rest of my hair I'm starting with a low French braid and I'm not braiding it too tight so that I can add more volume to it later. Then I'm gently pulling at each side of the braid to give it more volume. I tucked in the ends of the hair into a little loop so that it's easier to hide in the hairstyle afterwards. So what we have left are these two super voluminous braids. Now I'm taking each braid and I'm folding it in half and I'm tucking it behind my head to form a little crown at the back. The amount of bobby pins that this girl is wearing to keep this hairstyle up is probably very very intense and I can confirm I had to use a lot of bobby pins to make this one work but it does end up giving a super secure hold so I wouldn't worry about this falling apart as you're going about your day. Then I'm taking my second braid and again folding it in half. I'm tucking it beneath the first braid and I am bobby pinning the crap out of this just to make sure that it really really stays. 
Luckily, I had some yellow ribbon clips that matched this hairstyle perfectly, so I'm just inserting this above my ear on each side to complete this look. And I have to say, I think this is a pretty spot-on replica of Tomoyo's hairstyle, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really, really romantic. I wanted to make this the most simple and the most wearable hairstyle that literally anybody can do, so I went with Fruits Basket. I am taking inspiration specifically from this manga cover where it looks like she has a fish tail braid on the side and the actual real life execution of this makes it look very very cute. So separating my little front pieces away, I'm just taking the top section of my hair. I think this is about two inches of hair and then I'm going to start fishtail braiding. So you just want to separate your hair into two sections and then taking a tiny bit of hair on each side, you just want to cross it over and then add it to the next section over. It seems a little bit complicated. I think I'm also really really shitty at explaining how to actually do braids. Um, but if you guys just watch me do this a few times and practice it on your own, it's really easy to get the concept of and it's really easy to recreate too. And yes, I finally taught myself how to fishtail braid so that I can teach you guys how to fishtail braid and it's actually really easy. So I'm just braiding this until I reach my ear and then I'm securing this with an elastic and tucking it behind my ear just like Toru has it. Then I'm repeating this on the other side and from the front, do you see how freaking cute this hairstyle is. It's so delicate and so romantic. Then I'm taking my yellow fabric bows again and I'm just pinning this over the elastic to hide it and to replicate the style that she wears. And that is it for this hairstyle. I have to say this is one of my favorite hairstyles in this video just because of how practical it is for real life. It's very very romantic and it's very easy to replicate and it doesn't matter what length of hair you have whether it's short or long. Next we are revisiting one of Ai Yazawa's older series. This is Neighborhood Story. So the first one that I thought of were these double braided loops with ribbons that the character Mikako wears. So I already started off with some high pigtails on each side and then I'm simply braiding each side with a regular three strand braid and securing the end with an elastic. Again, I'm also tying off the ends with a loop so that it's easier to pin and hide afterwards. Then I'm simply folding this braid towards the back and I'm pinning this with some crossed bobby pins right into our elastic. And the little folded end at the bottom makes for a perfect anchor to insert your bobby pins through so that it has a super secure hold. And she has red ribbons for her hairstyle. I just swapped it out for some pink fabric ribbons instead and I'm just inserting this over the elastics to hide them. And that is it for this hairstyle. I think that mine look a little bit too big because my hair is really long, so I think that this is another hairstyle that would look really great for people with a bit shorter hair, maybe like mid-length shoulder length. We are going to do another one from Neighborhood Story. This one, I feel like I had a little bit of a hard time translating this into real life, but I think I did my best and I think it still looks pretty cute. So again, I'm starting off with some high pigtails and then I'm sort of like digging around to find the center piece of my hair and I'm taking that out and I'm just going to braid this with a regular three strand braid and then I'm securing it at the bottom with an elastic. And then taking the rest of my hair, I'm just twisting it away from my face and I'm twisting it until it collapses into a bun. And then I'm just taking some bobby pins and I'm pinning this in all four directions so that it has a really secure hold. And that is kind of it for this hairstyle. It's definitely wearable because it's like really easy to do and it doesn't really get in your face. It's definitely something different, something unique rather than just like regular double buns. So that is it for this video. Thank you again so much for sending in all of your requests. I really appreciate it. And this is just part one. I definitely want to do a second video in the future with more recent series, but I will definitely be opening up questions on my Instagram again. So make sure to follow me there if you guys want to be a part of the second video. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon if you are a patron. I appreciate you guys so much. And as always, I will see you guys again next week.